From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a huge night on on evening to LA Late as the economy tries to rebound and a lot of analysts are saying, come on in and start buying. No, all they should be doing is getting that forced to most track in every US state. In tonight's recording, we're gonna go over the analysts and why once again, they are back saying bull market, buy, buy, buy. It's a start of a brand new week and stocks are up sizably yet again today after a big rally on Friday. But one of the smartest guys that analyzes of the Federal Reserve says, do not share on this rally, and I'm not either. What did analysts try to tell you today? That nearly 80% of the S&P companies today had 51 week highs this Monday. Wow. That is a shocking statistic while well, the latest details on that across the board, and nearly only five of them were the lowest lows of the 52-week period. Whoa. Yet what they're trying to do is tell you that the economy is great, and it's not particularly, particularly true. That's why you have to get a force to almost check in every U.S. state. Good evening. I hope you're having a beautiful night. We have a major recording tonight over this one-hour broadcast. We're going to go over these FSC checks, federal stimulus checks. Nearly $300,000, 300 checks passed by the President of the United States and Congress in the month of March, and they're huge. Viewers have been getting them. Have you gotten yours? If you haven't, welcome to LA Life. Go right on this video and become a member. And over this one-hour broadcast, we're going to show you these incredible FSC checks. Next up, inflation release stimulus checks, big checks, and they're absolutely incredible. Where are they? I'll explain them to you in the big second half. Lifetime stimulus, because once your benefits go up, they never go down. But no one else is telling you that you're going to get four lifts over five years that will put your benefits and your check in your hand more than your cost of living. I'll explain the latest details across the board tonight. We have a lot of major breaking news that has happened in the last two hours since afternoon. So if you watched the brand new show two hours ago, this is a totally different show tonight on evenings. We have the market ending up quite sizably yet again tonight. And the bond market also up at the same time. Confusing, I'll explain to you why it's happening. Plus, we'll have indication of where this economy is going and what you and I are looking for. It's a big night, it's a big evening with a lot of major breaking news. Everything you need to know and every dollar you need to got, get is covered in tonight's broadcast. From the shores of San Marcos, California, it's evenings and it's now. From the shores of Santa Monica, California, confusing economy tonight as analysts are trying to tell you to come on in and buy. No, because Jay Powell is going to raise rates for the whole rest of this year and next year. And one of the biggest analysts, and he's absolutely brilliant, says do not cheer on the rally. And it comes as some earnings results are coming in tomorrow from the audio manufacturers. And they're likely to be beats, but let's make it very clear. Stocks are way up for several companies tonight, and others could be going up as well. So is it the end of the bear market and a bull rally, or is it just a lot of bull? <laughs> In tonight's recording, we got a lot to go over, and it all starts right here, right now, on the shores of Santa Monica, California. It's a big show, and it's a big broadcast. Nearly 15 pages of notes going into tonight's recording. I got it all for you. It's going to be covered tonight. Your benefit raise your housing market, your unemployment, your forced stimulus. The breaking news starts all right now on Evenings L8 for a beautiful October 24, 2022. How are you? Good evening and welcome. And this is the first time you're going to see me not in costume this week, although maybe I am in costume right now. <laughs> It's Halloween week, and expect me to be, uh, you know, dressed as uh, the sailor or the pirate who stole uh, the economy. <laughs> tomorrow night. Tonight we have a series of major reports coming in. The markets were up relatively strongly on a Monday, but is this a bull market, meaning up, or a bear market going down? Earnings. It's all about earnings in our view. The earnings are coming in, honestly, at or below expectations. So there you go. This guy says the earnings number is not particularly good. He's chief strategist at U.S. Bank. 
Then the 10-year bond ticked chick, higher today on Monday, trading at about a 4.25. The two-year note, I told you, is going to go to 5%. It's nearly there. That was my prediction. Here comes Kesley Mowry at Motley Fool Assets. What's unique about this week is that we're starting at a high. That's a strong jobs data. I think the Fed has the ammo to continue to raise rates. But the news Friday really shook the market in a positive way. So he says, get ready for the Fed to raise rates. Absolutely. I think that's right. On Friday, the market added nearly 400 points across the board. And today it was up as well. But here's what's important. Is that other companies that have been reporting corporate earnings for third quarter over the last two weeks on this channel, two-thirds of them have reported that inflation has been impacting their bottom line. Meantime, I don't talk too much about it, but China's having big problems right now. And there is a major sell-off in China, and JP Morgan saying that could be potentially impacting our U.S. economy. Here's some data tonight. I was shocked when I saw this data came in in just the last hour. This was not even around on afternoons. We have currently 81% of the S&P 500 companies, 21 of those stocks, I guess I could say you, 21 stocks in the S&P are at 52-week highs and 81% of them are at all-time highs. Excuse me? Wait a second. Where did that come from? I thought we we're in a bear market. Well, it's confusing. AutoZone which we've been talking all this week, that the auto manufacturers are reporting GM and Ford tomorrow, expected to come in a basically mixed bag. But they're supposed to downward guidance for the fourth quarter because the demand for cars is not there because of the higher interest rates. But here's AutoZone, all-time high. O'Reilly, all-time high. Genuine Parts Car, all-time high. Exxon, all-time high. So we see a lot of auto at all-time high. Jump in the live chat. I need your help on this one right now. Do you believe that the vast majority of auto manufacturers reporting corporate earnings for third quarter this week will downward guide for the fourth quarter, the one we're in right now, this week? When Ford and GM reports, and they may beat for third quarter, the one we already ended, do you think they're going to downward guide for the fourth quarter that we're in right now? I want to see your answer. I'll give you my analysis in just a second. So we also have some financials, we have some energy, and we have some and we also have a lot of medical all-time high. We have Merck and Eli Lilly, Humana, Cigna, all-time highs, all-time highs. Really interesting. So it's mostly medical all-time highs, meaning they're not, they've not been impacted by the inflation. You know why? Because it's you know insurance companies paying for the medical. It's a little bit more complicated. It's not like you're going out and necessarily paying for the Merck prescription. Your insurance company is. But here are of the S&P, there's four stocks tonight that are at 52-week lows. Tesla, the lowest level since 2021. Estee Lauder since 2020. And Crown Castle, lowest since 2020. Now, here's what I want to make very clear to you. Sometimes it's hard to impart this because it's sort of analysis, but i got to give you my impressions. In pulling the data and pulling the, the reports for tonight's evenings, I like, I just got to, it was just hitting me in the face. It was over and over again. But I think the market's going to go up. But I think the market's great. But I think that. But look at all the great news coming in from the stocks. It was a lot of trying to sell you on how wonderful the stock market and how wonderful the economy is doing. Yeah, yeah. Roll your eyes. Give a side eye on this one. It's 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 those people again. <laughs> <laughs> it's those people again. You know, they dress up on Halloween and the rest of the year they hide behind curtains and say, bye, bye, bye. And you're like, who said that? The person behind the curtain. But you know, I'm not buying into this market. The market's going down. Who said that? They're back again. <laughs> They're back again, those people. Who are the? Do you have a name for those people? I wish I had a name for the people. Jump in the live chat. Um, and here we go. Evercore thinks that, a third, that Amazon's going to have a great quarter. And here's Deutsche Bank. Apple looks great. I think Apple looks great. I think Amazon looks great. Everything looks great. Excuse me? <laughs> no one is saying anything as though don't buy stocks. Why? Because they want you to give them transactional revenue. That's how it depended upon it. Um, and here is Stifle. Stifle's chief actuary strategist, Bon Bremiser, says the market could rally up 15% in the next six months. That's three quotes in a row. I think Amazon's going to do great. I think um, Apple is going to do great. And I think the market's going to go up 15% in the next six months. Bull, a lot of bull. 
a lot of bull market talk. It's not a bull market. It's a bear market. And here is the smartest guy who would know it. Mohammed Arari, and my apologies if I'm butchering his name. He says the Federal Reserve is dealing with a trilemma. Growth, inflation, financial stability, and inflation has not turned around. He's absolutely correct. You've been watching this channel. We still have that 8.5% inflation. They've got to know we're on it. So there's nothing different in the inflation story tonight to tell you to buy stocks. Core CPI continues to go up. He's right. This is because financial stability, massive front loading of rate hikes will break something in the financial markets. So the Fed does slow. It will because we have financial stability concerns. He says, do not cheer on this rally. I love that quote. I love the quote. And yet, the market was up another 500 points today. Is this the blind leading the blind? I believe it is. Because going into tonight's broadcast, we had that data from Friday. There's three groups of blind people at the moment, and they're very scary. Number one, Wall Street, telling you to buy stocks so that everything is beautiful. They did that in July. People lost their shirts. They're doing it again. People are going to lose their shirts again because the markets are going to go down another 20%. It's my predictions. Number two. The people that are spending money at home like it's going out of style. We had the data that came in on Friday from American Express and Bank of America, the credit card companies. And they said, we have never seen spending like this ever. These are credit card companies. They see how much you're spending and they say, we've never seen anything like this. Here's American Express CEO Stephen Squeary on Friday's earning call. Card member spending remains at near record levels in the third quarter. Where from? You know this answer. We've been detailing this channel for a while. It is travel and leisure. You came off a lockdown. You had to travel. One time, no. You're traveling every month. Not you, these people. And they're putting $6,000, $7,000 on the credit card over and over again. They don't have the cash. We already know that because we've seen those reports. It says they're carrying six-month overdue bills and they don't have the cash on hand. Here comes Brian Monahan, CEO of Bank America, confirming the same thing as American Express. He says, we do not see a slowing in consumer spending. And here, back to Squarey at America Express, he says, we expect a recovery in travel, but this is exceeding our expectations for the whole rest of this year. Absolutely. Now, it's one thing to put $6,000 on credit card and not be able to pay the bill when it comes due in January. It's another thing for the people who bought cars last year, maybe they bought cars earlier this year, they have a car loan. That car loan is getting more expensive because there's a variable interest rate. And that variable interest rate is going to go higher and higher and higher because j is raising rates to battle inch, inch inflation at the Federal Reserve. And guess what's going to happen? Foreclosures and car repossessions. It's going to start happening. And less people are going to be buying cars. The auto industry reporting corporate earnings this week. But here's my predictions. My predictions of the corporate earnings for third quarter will be BEATS. Ford and GM, I think they're going to beat, but I think they're going to downward guide for the whole rest of this year because no one can come into a car dealership anymore and buy a car on a car loan because it's too expensive now. Do you agree? Jump a like chat. Do you think that the downward guidance for the whole rest of the year will be negative for auto? I believe it will. All throughout today, although throughout Friday, people saying stay away from Tesla. Stay away from the Tesla. They said, I wouldn't go anywhere near it with a 10-foot tall pole. It's very troubling. It's a very dramatic change of the markets where one of their favorite sons is now the evil twin. Where did I come up with that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not referring to Mitch. Um, and, and there you go. Now, why is this so important? It's important because you got to get that force of check in every U.S. state. You got to get it because you know at some point the reality check's going to kick in. It's going to kick in and people say, I did this wrong. I ran out too much spending. I took too many trips. I put too many things on the credit card. I got that car. I could not afford the car. I did things and I should not have done it. And now what do I got? Stimulus stampede. That's why I have to get that four stimulus check in every U.S. state. Let's go over the three types of checks right now. There are FSC checks, federal stimulus checks. Wow. These were passed in the month of March by the President of the United States, by executive action, by Congress. And I've been getting people these checks ever since. 
This is the channel. This is the broadcaster that features all these incredible sums of money. $300,000 of 300 different checks. Then inflation relief stimulus checks, ISEs. They're great. They're from your states. And I'll have them also in the big second half. And next after, after that, a lifetime stimulus. Because once your benefits go up, they never go down. But did you know you're going to have four other lifts on top of your benefits? I'll explain that in the big second half as well. Let's jump in the first three checks of FSCs and understand where FSCs came from and how they formulated and why you need to always focus on FSCs before anything else. The first three checks were passed by the President of the United States in the month of March. $100,000. You qualify. Single individual, $75,000 or less. Go get them. Married couple, $150,000 or less. Go get them. And if you're on benefits, go get them as well. Absolutely incredible. And these are the checks passed by the President of the United States in March. Viewers have been getting them ever since. Checks A, B, and C, which we'll be going over in just a second. In the second half of this video, we'll be continuing the FSC checks E through K. These were passed by Congress in the spring, and they are incredible, bringing us to then hundreds of checks that the Purple Power community, the members of this channel, have cleaned up with. Yes, $300,000 for Purple Power, and that's just through K. I've gotten you L and M, N and O, P and Q. And yesterday on a live broadcast, one viewer in the live chat said, hey, I got stimulus N. It was absolutely incredible. His name, John Malouf. Congratulations, John. We're going to go over all those incredible checks. But first, let's start with the first three checks, A, B, and C. You want to get these incredible checks because they are needed. Housing is falling apart. A lot of things are going left and right. And you don't want to risk this. And you want to get as much money as you can. Let's look at these credible checks, starting with check A. $6,500 to $12,000. It's a wonderful check, and Speller got this check as well. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 less, go get it. How do you get it? You go under this video, become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Then go down the membership news, so you find check A, click the link, and go get it. What are you watching? What is this? This is LLA. America's number three most watched financial news channel, America, launched in spring of 2020. Now one of the most successful new financial channels in American broadcasting, expanded to three channels, LA1, LA2, and LA3, delivering broadcasting 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Short form, taped, long form, live, and even shorts, all for you on this channel. When launched in 2020 all the way up to the present, has gotten viewers $50 million. No one else can report that except the Purple Power, you, the members of this channel. Go around this video and become a member and be part of the nearly 100 new members joining daily to this channel. Then go down the membership news and get all these incredible checks. I go over each check with you in the big second half. Let's continue with the next check after check A. It is check B. Check B is absolutely wonderful and it's huge. It is $15,000, $80,000, but viewers are getting more than that even as well. And here is an example. It only costs less than $10 to become a member, and viewers are walking away with almost $10,000. Here is Frank Mikuso getting 18 months of Check B for mortgage, 18 months of utilities, and 18 months of high-speed internet. Folks, that's thousands of dollars. He paid a few dollars, less than $10, to get thousands of dollars back from the channel. Where else do you get a return on your money? on anything in this economy, like a membership on Ally Light. Another viewer out of Florida, she got eighty dollars to $100,000 from Check B. How do you get that Check B? You become a member, go down the membership news, or you see Check B, click the link, and go right in and apply. It's that straightforward. And you're not done there alone with Check B. You're going to go get Check C for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. Check C is absolutely incredible. How do you get it? You become a member, go down the membership newsletter, you see Check C, and it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Promise me two things. One, for Check C, you will reach out to all 12 places, feature the membership newsletter. And number two, you'll stay in the big second half because I still have big checks for you across the board. Now, here's what's important to remember. Check B and Check C. The average view of this channel is now walking away with 18 months of checks with their mortgage or their rent and their utility bills per month. So that's about five checks a month times 18 months. That's 80 to 100 checks. The only difference is, is with check C, it's 12 places to reach out for those incredible 80 checks. Remember, reach out to all 12 places, and the membership newsletter tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. You'll get a no, but you'll also get a yes. I 
hope you do exactly as I say in this recording. Now, you want to see what other people have gotten by following the incredible membership newsletter on this channel? Let's look at that great news and the great success stories that can be yours as well. Look, look at them right now. Do you want $30,000 of rent? Go check C. Do you want a whopping $15,000 of utilities? Well, go do it and get check C. That's what Mark's brother-in-law got. Lynn Glenn, longtime viewer of the channel on all the live chats. She got 14 months of utilities just a few days ago, as did another viewer. Two viewers got 12 months of rent. And that same brother-in-law, Mark, quarter million dollars of SNAP over 10 years. Here is Nisi, longtime viewer. She went from 22000 to 50000 Then Mark went from 32000 to 50000 to 100000 and then 166. Here's Lorraine. She was at 105 and she went to 155. Let's recap some of those big numbers right now. Yes, we have Mark at 166000 He paid just a few dollars, less than $10 to become a member and walked away with $166,000 from this channel. Lorraine, less than $10, walked away with 155000 Then we have Dragon, triple member to all three channels, a longtime viewer and also volunteer on the community page. She got $170,000 for her and her family. We have Johnny, who started on a Monday and then by the end of the week got $80,000 from him. Then he turned around and helped his friends and neighbors and got 20 of them a quarter million dollars collectively. It's all happening here. So what do you do? You go on this video, subscribe, go into this video, become a member, and you go into this video, hit that bell and make sure your notifications set to all on and say the big second half as we go over more about these incredible checks. Plus, in the big second half, we continue with these FSA checks. We got a lot more checks to go over. We look at the success story that one viewer got while I was on air. It's a great check. It's my favorite one. He walked away with it, and he's ecstatic. We look at the ISC checks, huge, and then lifetime stimulus checks, a lift of your benefits you've not heard anywhere else except on our life. Meantime, in the live feed yesterday, one viewer was celebrating. She got check A, the weatherizing grant. And I got to tell you, she was really beyond herself. She was so ecstatic that she was walking away with a weatherizing grant check. It's one of the most achie wonderful achievements when you get a check for yourself that you watch the video, you learned, and you earned. It's just a wonderful achievement. And imagine when you repeat it, because that's what I train you to do. Keep on getting checks. Then you really learn to earn. And I got a lot more for you to earn in the big second half. Stay with me. Plus, I'll have my analysis on where this market's going. Plus, we have more breaking news on what happened with this economy. It's a big night with a lot of developing details that have happened in just the last two hours. I'll have all that and more as Evenings I Like continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues in a big second half on the shores of Santa Monica, California. Hope you're having a beautiful day. Congress came along and passed those E through K checks, broadening the number of checks to nearly 100 after the President of the United States had done checks A, B, and C. And this big second half, we're going to pick up with those E through K checks. They are incredible. And we have a success that happened live on air. It was just 
It was inspiring. I'm going to show you what happened in just a second. So those E through K checks, let's look at them right now. Check E, $7,500. Wow, incredible. One of the big reports that came out two weeks ago said that when you're doing check E, doing a year in which you can get the whole check because you can't get the residual of the check in another year. Then we have check G. Oh, I just skipped F. F. <laughs> check F, $4,000. Check G, 30% off. Check H, $2,000. Check I is a whopping 8000 Check J, 8000 Huge. And check K, $14,000. Wow. Just absolutely incredible. Then I got you more checks after that. Check L, $100,000 on the average of loan is of free money. M, $4,000 of free grant money. There you go. Then stimulus and what a great story. I've been detailing for a few months on this channel. I love Simulus and it's my favorite one. Why? Brand new computer, brand new tablet, brand new laptop, $100 towards a participating provider and free internet. And then it happened. In the live chat on Morning Daylight yesterday, we had John Malouf who was in the live chat and he said, I got Stimulus N and I'm watching you now on a tablet that I got because of your show. Isn't it incredible? It's just a wonderful achievement and a wonderful feeling. Remember, tablets, they're great tablets for less than $100, latest operating system, and that's just wonderful. Why would you not become a member? Just a few dollars and you walk away with a tablet, you get thousands and thousands of dollars. It just, it's just so simple. Become a member right today. Then we have Simulus O, oh, zero down payment, zero closing costs, and zero um, credit check and zero insurance. That's for a brand new home. Then we have stimulus P and Q. P is 3% down for a refi. And then Q is $8,000 of free grant money for you. And those are the wonderful FSC checks. Let's recap because I know there's a lot and I have new stuff for you across the board on that. First, these are from Congress or the President of the United States. They're federal from the federal government. So they're for you in every U.S. state and every U.S. Ter territory. The states have nothing to do with it. It's not your state. It's not your county. It's not your city. It's from the federal government. They administer it. They send it out. Number two, largest check, $100,000. Smallest check, $8,000. That's just routing time, two days. Johnny's starting on Monday and getting $45,000 by Wednesday. He continued through Friday, and he got 17 applications in, half approved, $80,000. The next week, $50,000 for mom and dad separately, and then help 20 people get a $200,000, a quarter million dollars in his neighborhood. These checks, these FSCs A through Q, we got something for everything. We have rent, we have utilities, we have mortgage, we have the home appliances like the furnace, we have the home repairs, we have the car, we have the internet, the tablet, the computer, and more. It's absolutely incredible. And what's important to understand with the FSC's checks is you've got to get them and keep on getting them. In the membership newsletter, go down to the third or fourth line, and you have also the LA Late worksheets. They're free for you, designed by me only on LA Late. They are in the newsletter down around the third line. And in those worksheets, you can print them out. One of the most popular pages is the second page. It has a place for you to keep track of all the checks you're applying for, because... That's a lot of FSC checks. You always want to start with the FSC checks because those are big sums of money. Now, let's start. Let's continue to some other sums of money, a little bit less, but they're still great. They are ISC, Inflation Relief Stimulus Checks. And these are from your states. They are absolutely incredible. The average check is $1,000. Number one. Number two, direct deposit, otherwise the mail. Number three, how do you find them? In the membership newsletter. Go down to check D. Then at D, I tell you the states. Then I tell you the amount. Then I give you the website to track the details of the check. So simple across the board. That is inflation relief stimulus checks. Then, lifetime stimulus checks. No one has explained any of this to anyone except me on Ally Light. The lifetime stimulus is more money than you actually think it is. Now, you understand and heard on this channel back on October 13th that your benefits are going up 8.7%. But something that no one's explaining to you is that you're actually getting more lifts of your benefits, more raises than even that. Let me explain with an analogy of a skyscraper and an elevator in that skyscraper. And I'm going to put you back at last year. We're going to call that the first floor, floor number one. Now, last year, they announced you they're raising your benefits by 5.9%. That's this year. So you went from the first floor to the second floor with a 5.9% raise. 
Then, this October 13th, they announced next year you're going up 8.7%. So you're going from the first floor to the second floor. <laughs> you started the first floor. Then you went to the second floor at 5.9%. You went to the second floor at 5.9%. Next year, you're going to the third floor at 8.7%. Guess what happens? Next year, you're going to go from the third floor to the fourth floor as well because there's going to be another raise next year because inflation is not going to be around. And the year after that, you're going to go from the fourth floor to the fifth floor because there's going to be inflation around in 2024 as well. By 2024, you have had five raises, but guess what's going to happen to the goods you buy? The milk and eggs. They're going to go down, down, down. They're on the fifth floor right now, and they're going to go down the first floor. By year five, 2024, you're going to have the highest benefit raises of your generation, five raises in five years. And then the cost of goods is going to go to the lowest level it's been in five years. So suddenly you can have more money coming in and less money going out because it costs less to buy those products at year five. There you go. Two other great details about this. One is a direct deposit otherwise in the mail. And also number three, benefits will not be eaten up by the medical bills because Medicare Plan B will be cheaper this next year because of the act of Congress that took care of this earlier this year. And there you go. Those are your ISCs, your LSCs, and your FSCs. Always start with the FSCs. Now, one of the side notes I want to just throw in here, because I know it belongs somewhere, but I don't know where. I'm just going to put it here, is I know about the debacle that's going on with student loan debt tonight. There is a, a big legal battle in the courts about student loans, and it's on pause, and apply or don't apply. It's a hot mess. I'm not going to cover it on this channel because it's It'll put everyone to sleep, but it is a hot mess. And if you're a person that's been put through all that, I'm sorry. Um, they're trying to work it out. It will get worked out. It's not currently being worked out just yet. It's a problem about what is a federal student loan debt and what is not a federal student loan debt. And the definition of it is just a little bit messy at the moment. Now, what's also making news tonight? What's making news tonight is that there's a big narrative back once again. And I got to tell you, this is all based upon my impression. And people like when I deliver my impressions. I don't mean impersonations, impressions. And my impression tonight is, are we really doing this again? It's back with that same thing we saw in July, where you and I understood, do not buy. Do not buy stocks. Do not buy crypto. Do not buy real estate. It's going to go down. And we said no. We said put everything in cash. And there was a group of people, a large group of people, on Wall Street said bye, bye, bye. And they did, and they lost their shirts. And the market went straight down. And we sat back and we said, told you so. Now, what started happening last week, and is very much the case tonight, the very much the case tonight is that the same people are back again with the bull market <laughs> talk of buy, buy, buy. And that's why the markets are up. And that's why that one brain analysis do not cheer on this rally. You know, it started on Friday. Stocks are probably not bottom yet, um, said UBS's Hayfilly. We had other people like Jamie Cox saying there's a lot of people that are just ignoring what the Federal Reserve is saying and they're doing this knee-jerk reaction. And then t by tonight, we really had just an enormous surge of quotes of analysts saying, you know, this looks really good. That looks really good. I think we go a lot higher. I mean, look at the cumulative collective angle of all these stories at the same time for October 24th. Number one, stocks are a second day of highs. Number two, the market's up 400 points. Number three, um, that uh, it's a buying opportunity, says uh, individual J.P. Morgan Chase. Number four, that 21 stocks in the S&P 500 at 52 high highs. It's just, you know, do you see it? It just keeps on smothering itself. And that um, Evercore ISI's Mark Mahoney says Amazon's going to be a great buy. And then another person says Apple looks enticing. That's Deutsche Bank. You just, you just get it? Do you just get this feeling? It's like everyone's trying to get you to buy a stock. And uh, and then I get to Ma Muhammad al Ryan, who's really the guy you need to be listening to, in addition to me. <laughs> he says, so the flood does slow. It's because we have financial stability concerns. But inflation has, turned, has not turned around. And, of course, CPIs continue to go up. What's important to understand 
is that the data tonight is not better than the data last week. And ultimately, you should only be making buying decisions based upon changing data. Inflation is actually worse tonight than it was last week. There's actually no data point tonight that's better tonight than it was a week ago. And yet markets are looking like, oh, it's a great time to buy now. It was a horrible time to buy last week, but it's a great time to buy now. Where did the data change? It didn't change. In fact, it's actually getting worse. So what do I see right tonight? I see three groups that are running fake narratives. And ultimately, they either believe it's a fake narrative, they're trying to buy you into the fake narrative, or they've actually brainwashed themselves. Let's analyze those three groups, you and I, right now. First, the question I'm going to lead with is, do they understand? I'm going to ask you, do they understand? And you give me, they understand or they don't understand. Here's the first group, Wall Street. Does Wall Street understand the market's going to go down another 20%? Does Wall Street understand that we're in a bear market? Does Wall Street understand that in a recession, the market has a lot to go down, not just a 20% drop, but a 40 50% drop? Does Wall Street understand that the data is all bad still, that data has not improved yet? Does Wall Street understand? Jump in the live chat right now. My answer, Wall Street understands. Wall Street understands this. They just want your transactional revenue. I'm, I'm being very um, skeptical of them. They really just want you to buy stocks. Sitting around on the, on the sideline holding cash, they don't make money. If they see you holding cash and you're not buying stocks, they don't make money. They need your transactional revenue buying and selling. All right, let's go to the next group of people. Do they understand? Yes or no. And who are they? The White House. Bernstein, one of the economic advisors to Joe Biden, appeared on broadcast me this morning and said the U.S. economy is robust and doing great. When asked, what do you mean? He said, well, labor's really good. We understand labor's good. How about the other parts of the economy? Well, they're generally really good. Does the White House understand? Does the White House understand that the vast majority of the U.S. economy is not doing well and that certain elements are doing really great, but the other parts are not? Does the White House understand? Jump on the live chat. Do you think they understand or not? I think they understand. I think it's almost like propaganda. I think they really just want to sell you on believing the great news and ignoring the bad news. It's not working. A series of new polls released today says the number one issue in Americans' eyes are is, is inflation, cost of living. Americans buy milk and eggs. Americans buy gasoline. And they cannot afford these high prices. And you can tell them anything you want to tell them, but they still are at the supermarket, and they see the prices, and you're not going to convince them another narrative that's incorrect if what they see is a milk and eggs higher than the week before. Last group, and this is perhaps the most important group that impacts you, not the White House, not Wall Street. This is the consumer. A series of reports that were released on Friday, detail on this channel over the weekend, detail earlier today on this channel, is the spending, massive runaway spending. American Express, and Bank of America both report they've never seen spending on debt, on credit cards like this in a very long time. They see runaway spending, big ticket items, travel and leisure, hotel and airfare, like they've never seen it before. So the question is, these people that are spending money like it's going out of style, do they understand? Do they understand that their spending is going to get caught up with them? Do they understand that putting all this debt on the credit card is going to be more costly as the Federal Reserve continues to raise rates all this year, next year, and the year after that? Do they understand this? Jump in the live chat. Do the consumers that are running away the spending, they're not the viewers' channel, run away spending on the credit card? Do they understand that's not good? My answer, I don't think they do. <laughs> I don't think they do. I don't think they understand. A series of new reports released late last week showed that the, that the debt levels of young, middle-aged, and elderly people, highest of a generation, and it's not short-term debt, it's over six months old, and they admit they don't have the cash on it. And yet they're still spending more money on top of that. Is it just a little bit like, what are you doing? Yeah, it's a lot like, what are you doing? And I don't think they understand. In the back of my mind, I think there's a, there's a motivation, there's a sentiment, and there's also a sort of a self-brainwashing going on. Here's my takeaway on the situation. Let me see if you agree across the board. First, I think it started with this narrative, I deserve it. People came off a lockdown. They had been a lockdown for two years. They had not traveled. They said, I deserve a trip. Okay, you deserve a trip. You took a trip. 
3000 4000 6000 dollars And they took a trip and then they said, I deserve another trip. <laughs> and I deserve, I deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> my response to them is, you don't deserve it. You can't afford it. You don't deserve it. You don't afford. You can't afford it. Stop spending like that. But they are doing it in a way in which they justify it as, well, I suffered really hard for two years of a lockdown. I really deserve it. It's sort of like a self-convincing um, manifesto. Number two. I really do think that they believe there, there's enormous stability in their lifestyle, and that stability is going to stay there for the next two years. I think they understand that there is a recession. I think they understand there's inflation. But they also think that everything that's happening right now will never get worse. I don't think they understand. I don't think they understand that this environment that we have now is not going to be 2023. This 2022 is not going to be 2023. I could reflect it in the data of this channel, for example. How many people come in and are looking for stimulus in different months? When do people look for stimulus? When do they not look for stimulus? When do they come in just learning about what's going on with this economy? When do they come in learning to earn and, and know and understand where this economy is and how it's going? And when do they just show up and say, I need a check right now? And I, I can see it on the back-end data, but I can also see it the front-end data. I can see it with the spending, not my viewers, but elsewhere. The spending that is almost senseless, just runaway spending. And here's something to remember. We all know the people that bought those cars last year and the year before, runaway purchase on cars. Those cars were generally on debt, variable debt car loan debt. And now as J-PAL raises those rates this year and next year, imagine how expensive that car loan debt is going to be. A lot of people are going to lose their cars. They're going to lose their cars because they think that everything is the situation right now until they realize, wait, why is the debt more expensive? Do they understand? In my heart of heart, I don't think a lot of Americans understand credit debt levels. I don't think they understand the debt level. They get a bill and they said, oh, I got to pay this bill. And they don't realize that there's an interest rate on the bill that's growing. And they don't understand why it's growing, nor they really watch it. They just see it. And then, it's, then they start to fret. And then they start to worry. And then they don't realize what they got themselves into. Why is this important? Stimulus stampede. I mean, millions of Americans are going to be really in trouble if this heats up. Where is the stimulus stampede going to kick in? Jump in the live chat. I've been asking this question for the last few months. Most viewers put it in January. They believe the massive spending will come over the holiday season. Possibly? Yes. If it is the bigger ticket items like travel and leisure. Now, here's what I'm watching this week, and I want you to watch with me as well. I'm looking to see those consumer uh, staples that are reporting third quarter earnings. I've seen enough with the banks. I understand the banks did well. I've seen enough with the credit card companies. <laughs> <laughs> we all understand people are putting stuff on credit cards. So, so obviously the credit card company is doing really well. Um, and I've seen enough with um, oh, with everything sort of uh, related to that. But what I want to see is not so much tech reporting corporate earnings because they're going to be impacted negatively by the strong dollar. What I want to see is consumer staples. want to see retail and consumer staples numbers coming in for third quarter. And if it's marginalized, if it's right on the edge, and it's sort of, and it's, you know, it's it's not great, but it's just sort of marginalized, and they give you downward guidance for the whole rest of this year, mm -mm. starting. It's starting. That's what I'm really looking to see in that data that's coming in. I got to tell you, that's three groups. They don't get it, in my opinion. They don't get it. I think the White House knows the answer. They're just trying to feed you a, a fake narrative. I think the consumer doesn't get it. I think they brainwash themselves into spending and like it's going out of style. And then Wall Street, I believe they understand it. They're just trying to get you to buy stuff. So they give you, they give you, you give them a transactional revenue, a buy or sell of a stock. They're trying to make money off of your activity. They don't make money if you don't buy anything or sell anything. What do you think? Ultimately, a lot to earn and a lot to and a lot to get. Tonight, the programming continues on this channel with six o'clock show. It is countdown, seven o'clock stream still was eight o'clock extra, nine o'clock sunset. Every channel, every night, evenings at light at five o'clock in prime time on Ally Light. Meantime, jump in the live show, airing 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Enjoy mornings at light every day at 9 a.m. 
preceded by mornings countdown at 7 and early mornings at 8 at 4 a.m. The programming also continues throughout the night. Thank you for watching our shorts. Thank you for watching our long form and also watching our short form and date. From the shores of San Marcos, California, God bless. Keep on doing everything that you're doing. You're doing a great job. You keep on learning. You keep on earning. There's a lot to do and a lot to get. It's a big night and just getting started. It's evening.